everyone. Welcome to Sam Livecast. It's Friday. It's the end of whatever week this is. Kind of become a, a random week, hasn't it? We just had a random week. A hodgepodge week. It's who week? Hodgepodge week. Hodgepodge week. <laughs> we started with the uh, the grilled hearts of palm. Mm-hmm. We had the, um, I guess for lack of a better term, the, the ridiculously delicious chimichurri flatbread. Oh, oh geez. That was great. Until Master Chef Don't Lynn even. started throwing salt all over the fucking place. Oh, salt makes a great that. picture. I know it makes a good picture, but it makes for bad bites after the fact when you're done. <laughs> I still ate most of it, man. I know you did. It was great. I'll, I'll, I know Max goes, I'll take so the rest home to yeah. Jilly. And I'm, and Max has got a couple friends in from Canada, and I go, wait a minute. <laughs> They're going to be like, Do Sam. I want the flatbread cold and extra salty being <laughs> what they eat as an example of Sam the Cooking Guy's food? I don't think so. Nope. That bread's not leaving the house. All I right. mean, I'm, I didn't, I'll have some before I go. Okay, <laughs> Wait, that was Wednesday. That's true. That's true. I can still eat some. Hey, uh, here's the other thing we did uh, Wednesday. We picked the people that are going to compete in the Cook Your Way to Kauai competition. Yeah. Yeah, Here, I've got them really quick. Eight. Really quick. Let's bust through them. Go. Rico, boom. Kevin, boom. Brian, Thank you for your service, Brian. Rob, boom. Shaka, bro. <laughs> Looking forward to trying your squash blossoms. When, love the triple poke. Love the Hogwarts shirt. Oyako, can't wait. If that's what you bring, can't wait to try the sashimi. Dina, who wouldn't want that? It looks so Extra good. gooey stuffed French toast. I know. And Miriam, with the stuffed, the, la- the two last things were stuffed. The stuffed Greek burgers, damn it. That's it has so to be ciabatta. Does burgers. that not look like some ciabatta bread? It looks like ciabatta does, to yeah. me. Ciabatta, and I can't you tell if that's green uh, ink on her uh, shoulder. We'll find out when she's here in person. You know what? She was smart. She went with burgers. Straight yeah, to yeah, our yeah. hearts. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of, were there other burgers? I don't think so. I didn't I see any. I don't think so. Well, I she, didn't see any. If she watched, she oh. knows that a burger won. I was going to say, yeah, a crazy Last burger time. won, so... Maybe. That's, exact, that's exactly right. Hey, um, hmm. what are we doing so today? So let me think. Uh, today we're doing, uh, you had a salad niçoise? I have, yeah. Tuna. Uh, generally like canned tuna. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or processed tuna. I don't know what you call that. Tuna, uh, tomatoes, and olives, and made into a salad. We're doing that, but in a, in a sandwich. Mm. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to make a... Uh, like an anchovy, I want to make a garlic aioli. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make a garlic anchovy aioli. Oh, Spread yeah, that right. out on the bottom, and then the tuna and the tomatoes and the whatever. I think it's going to be good. That's so, going to have so much flavor. It's going to be insane. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. A niçoise okay. is traditionally a salad? Uh, tuna niçoise is traditionally a salad, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so check this out. Oh, so, shit, I forgot to start the recording. I'm just joking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See the look on his That's face. Too easy. <laughs> like, oh, it's God. So it would have been great you know, if I got you just yelling at me. God. <laughs> and then just kept it on. You should have left it, right? <laughs> I would have just. I know. God. We could have gotten him. But I knew right when I said that, I saw, I could feel Lynn's eyes go like this right to the you spot. Know, I gotta, to okay. Check. So for people that don't know, <laughs> we, you literally, I mean, I guess it's obvious, but you like literally have to hit record. <laughs> To start this, and there have been a couple times when it hasn't happened. Yeah, am I like, right? We have a lot going on back here. There's a lot of stuff. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, it seems ridiculous. It's like <laughs> forgetting to hit the gas pedal when you're driving. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So we've done this show. Uh, we've done this show with five people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we settled at three. Mm-hmm. Yes, because because just because it's the magic number. I think it's a magic number. Uh, we've done it with two, which is not great. No, mm-hmm. we all agree that two is not ideal. Mm-hmm. And I've done it by myself, where I set up the cameras and <laughs> did this, and then went over there with two stationary cameras, and I don't like it. Yeah. I like having you guys to, to talk to, to play off of. I like shots changing. I like the whole thing. That's why we're here. Yep. Uh, I got a response from Vaughn's. Did you really? No way. No, you did tra- You okay, did not. For anybody who doesn't know, <laughs> he has been taking pictures of em- Do we find em- the Vaughn's picture? employees transporting huge bags of disgusting trash in shopping carts yeah. and he's seen this in like a couple different cities and then we've had submissions from people around the country wait 
I don't think you never. I didn't a see it in a couple different cities. I saw it in a couple different countries. Oh yeah. I saw it at yeah. Safeway in Vancouver, and I saw it here. Wow. And then people from other uh, people in other cities uh, sent pictures of other stores doing the same practice. Right. And so I wrote them, and I said, um, "There's got you got to have a better system than that." If you're, tra- they would, they would. I mean, yes, I, you want them to, to to clear the garbage cans that are out in front of the store so they're not overflowing. But either pick up the garbage bag out of it and put it in a trash can that's on wheels and wheel it where it has to go. Yeah. Or just carry it where it has to go. But what I saw with my own peeps, garbage can, uh, garbage bag in a shopping cart, not wheeled around back wheeled through the store yes just like when this. the wait just there like you that go. this there is actually you go this just was submitted like by mark lapointe it's a different store but it's the same it's principle. a different store and it's the same concept and i guess to be fair to smith's we don't know if that's an employee or not true but the idea that that was of what's going on there is exactly what happened it's like when this garbage can here is full most of the time Somebody takes it outside down the side of the house. And it's meaningless for people watching because you don't know what where the hell I'm pointing. But <sighs> they go outside and down as opposed to walk. And so here's uh, Mr. Zion. Thank you for your recent correspondence regarding your dissatisfaction with the way the garbage is collected at your local Vaughn store. I'll give them credit for not um, uh, form lettering me. I, 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 um, like you're saying, I'm, like, I'm reading it. It's yeah so clearly a form letter no it doesn't okay yes it says mr zion no 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 thank you the dissatisfaction oh, with I'm the way sorry. garbage is collected at your local vons so whether that's the only sentence that was new uh, yeah okay so i guess it's not uh, so you're okay with it being 98 percent form as long as they just like type in your little problem to the line that they have <laughs> just if you look at the other lines yeah. it says we appreciate you taking the time and effort to notify us of your concerns that's general can be for anything we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience i guess that could we have been strive like a, for world-class customer service at least i got a letter back yeah at least you got something i guess I oh wait a, you got a contact id number and stuff. Got a contact number if i want to deal with you it know what further. i guess i i look i think you're a little harsher on this than i am listen, i think that they i had this. my i had my watch stolen out of from a hotel in las vegas out of my bag when they were checked at the lobby i remember that i got very upset and I reached out to the hotel. I spoke to somebody high up and then another person high up and they assured me that there was an investigation going on, that they were going to get back to me, all this stuff. And basically in the end, they just said, you're shit out of luck. Nothing. We we hire our employees from the TSA. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So I just don't look at, I mean, yes, you might've gotten a response, but I don't look at it like it's, it's enough. I mean, well, I don't most likely it's just not going to go anywhere from there. Well, I hope the practice stops. That's all I want. Yeah. I just but want them to you, stop that practice. No, the question is though, how would you ever implement I'd have or, to hire or somebody to sit that. I'd have to hire somebody to sit out in front of the store for two weeks mm-hmm. and just watch <laughs> how the garbage got collected. I think maybe, you'd go enough. So I mean, I could probably yeah, do it in true. two days. Maybe if it said something about like uh there was going to be like some benefit to you if it didn't stop or they were going to well, like, what? I mean, what are they going to do? I don't know. 10% you off again. your beef orders in the <laughs> next know. like two months. could be something. 20% off every order over $500. No, I, I think the, the, the general purpose of this complaint is met. You brought it to their attention. Someone right. saw it and whether they do something about it or not is really up to them. But even if they wrote you like a sincere letter saying, Mr. Zion, we love your TV show. It was, we're so sorry you had to witness this, and and then if they didn't do anything about it. What is it, difference does it make to you? I guess you know, I like or anybody I mean, else. <sighs> Shit. All right, let's get off that. Get into something happy. So Kelly's getting a new car. Mm-hmm. Kelly's getting a mini. Really excited about it too. Mini love the way it drives. Mini, 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 mini. Her and Jilly are going to be matching. Yes, right. Jilly's got a mini. You know who else has a mini is uh, Ryan Todd in Vancouver. Oh, yeah. And uh, mom asked him about it. It's and one of my he cousins. said, wouldn't buy any other car. Really? He's in love with it. Nice. That's, That's so fun. interesting. I have to say they are so fun to drive. Mm-hmm, they really are. Really fun to drive. So I go there the other day. Um, actually, uh, 
she's in Vancouver coming back tonight and I picked it up. She doesn't know I have it it's in the garage and I'll pick her up at the airport in my car and we'll pull up in the garage. We'll open there. will be, she'll be all excited. Mm-hmm. That's pretty sweet. Wait, yep. really quick before you dive in more, what did you do for her for the last car you got her? Come I, on. I don't remember. Nothing. Oh, I, yeah. They had one of those giant bows. Yep. I oh. said to them, as, I, as I was getting the car, I said, that. it's too <laughs> bad. I would love to put like a giant bow on this. And they went, we have a giant bow. <laughs> and I go, you what do? Are, what yes. are the odds? That's cool. And honestly, it's this wide. Yeah. It's this square <laughs> that sits on top of the car. <laughs> and then the bow pieces hang over. Like the big knot is this big. And then the bow pieces hang down the sides of it. That's it's pretty, amazing. That's pretty awesome. This is basically what she got. Very similar. Right, 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 right. Very similar. She didn't get that white, but she got a different one yes. too. Silver, white stripes, whatever. It's, mm-hmm. So she's getting a mini. And so I go there and um, everything, all the details were worked out. So I really only had to like sign a few things, yeah. I guess. But so take a look at this. Here's the, the I, I love that she's, this the woman in finance. She's amazing, right? So I'm just sitting there at her desk, right? I don't know if you notice what's going on here. I don't know if you can tell, but look right here. It's a large contract. Right. That's a big, right. But that's not paper. That's not paper. Go back again. Oh, go back. This, this whole thing is a giant flat top sitting on this desk. I took this stylus and here's the next picture. I took that stylus and I signed right there electronically. Wow. Wow. The whole effing thing. That's unreal. Yeah. Talk about technology, well, right? That's like- and so it's cool. She says, this is the first version. She goes, in a couple of months, the whole desktop will be this thing. No way. So she, she brings my contract up. She can scroll down. I see everything right there. Yeah. It's not a piece of paper anymore. I sign on this desk, right on this thing right here. Wow. It's an unbelievable, the technology is coming so fast. So, and I, I brought this up because wait, don't come off me. I'll come right back because we had this phone out today. <laughs> this, this Kyocera smartphone oh, from God. God knows how long ago. I'd say, uh, 2000. Hold on. Let me get 1999 close. 1999 to 2000. Can you go right here? It's ridiculous. Okay, wait, right it was this, wait, frame. ready? It flips Boom. out. Oh my. It did this. God. Then you would take the stylus out. Oh, I see. And you would do your writing in here. And it was that weird, like A was just like an upside, it was like a tent. Yeah. B was like just that. C, I mean, it was crazy, oh, remember? I so remember. And it, wait, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, the antenna comes up. I remember being so jealous of you guys. This was like those. the coolest thing. We've kept, we've kept most of all of our old phones. Yeah, me too. I saw my first cell phone, actually. You do? Yeah, I do. Oh, God. It's and a, what was it? Flip? It was actually a Kia Sera, too, but it wasn't a flip. It was like a big, they call them like bars, I guess, or mm. chocolate bars. They basically look like Snicker size. Right. Yeah. You, I don't know. It, to text, you have to hit like, you know, three, four times to get to like the C. Or boom, boom, oh, yeah. remember yeah. that? Remember that. A, yeah. A, A, B, B, B. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And then yeah. they finally came out with like the smart text. Yeah. So it finally oh my picked God. up your things. Um, but okay, so what I stay on that picture, though, but what I see that and what that makes me think is that yeah. the next generation is just going to be completely paperless. The, I, the, I think- I, the idea of like, oh, um, you want to return something? Where's the receipt? You need to hold the receipt and bring it in. That's going to be so foreign to the next generation. Well, they're going to say you needed to hold on to like a little right. Well, little you're right. Piece of you paper. know what she said to me. So at the end of all this, there were still two signatures that I had to put on actual paper, and it wasn't for them. It was for the bank. Mm-hmm. But you can you can you can get through TSA to your flight yep. with just the barcode from your flight on your phone these days. Same with the trains and everything. So why yeah. should you, why do you need paper anymore? Because, because certain, we're, we're, we're yeah. migrating over. Certain right. industries are just really slow at adapting. Legal, yeah. banks. Right. I mean, the place that I work at, we deal with bank reports all the time and we can print out signatures, but a lot of banks don't take printed signatures. They, they require what's called a wet signature. So, you know. Hey, look it. If yeah. you can deposit a check 
by taking yeah. a picture of it, mm-hmm. yeah, you should be cool. able to get away with, with the, this for everything. <laughs> These guys used to say, if it was Friday at 6 p.m., they'd say, oh, I don't have cash for the weekend. I'm I have no cash for the food. weekend. No ATM. What would you do? You, you I don't know. In. I don't know. You, you don't got, like, you, you borrow no, money. No, no, no. At 6 p.m., 3 p.m. Banks closed at 3. Really? The oh, express, bankers you ever hours. Heard? Bankers hours. Yeah. That's where it comes from. 9 to 3. That's all wow. they worked. And if you didn't hit the bank by 3 o'clock on a Friday, you didn't have money for the weekend. You were screwed if you didn't have a credit card. Jeez. This is stupid. All right. Let's keep going with my pictures. So I was at the Grill Fest. Remember we talked about that at Del Mar Fair last weekend? Yeah. Right. There's 25 different uh, booths there serving food and... Most of that line that you see right here is going to this tent. Yeah. Slater's 50-50. Oh, oh. still haven't had it. But. I mean, I've, I've only had a little bite of it at wow. uh, really? an event. Have you had a Lynn? I've had it. It's, it's, right. uh, it's fairly decent. Why don't you tell the people who have no idea what we're talking about? What oh, it's it's 50% about? beef, 50% bacon. It's a restaurant in San Diego called Slater's 50-50 that has this famous burger, half bacon, half beef. Mm. There you go. So here's another shot from there. It looked like the same shot. Why did I put that one in? Okay, this shot. So now my thing at the event was, I was like the, the host or the master of ceremonies of the, go off that for a sec. Host or master of ceremonies of the Grill Fest. But when the Del Mar racetrack people came and they organized this thing, they said, we'd also like you to sing the Bing Crosby song. <laughs> and the Bing Crosby song is... It's sort of like the seventh inning stretch at a baseball game, but instead of, you know, take me out to the ballpark, or what is it? Take me out to the ball. What is it? Take me out to the ball, ball game. Game. <laughs> game. Ball game. Instead of that, it's the where the surf. No, I got it wrong. Not the where Delmar the song. turf meets the surf I down at Old Del- oh, Del- oh, yeah, Del Mar. Okay. Right. Bing Crosby sang it. Oh, he did. And they go, wait, hey, will you sing that? And I go, yeah, sure, of course. And then I started thinking Jeez. about it, and I was like, really? Where, where, where actually does this happen? So there's the shot. It happens right there in the, in, in, in the winner's circle, which is right over here, in front of, like, how many thousands of 40,000 people? <laughs> yeah. And you had to do it? And I had to do it. And there's me. A friend of mine, a friend of mine took a picture from up in the stands. That's mm. me on that giant oh, effing screen. Yeah, awesome. Hop back to the other picture really quick. Yeah. So for anybody that doesn't know, what you're looking at right here is the Del Mar racetrack viewing stand. So that is a huge viewing area, multiple levels. Right. Where you sit and watch the racetrack. And so go to the next one. Directly behind that is right there. You can see part of the racetrack. So it's a huge mile long track where they race on the dirt or the grass. And so basically he was down there singing and everybody was watching him. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's all done, right? And I, my vo- I have an okay voice at certain things. <laughs> and I kind of really <laughs> effed up the last couple notes of it. Oh, if you're going to F up anything, you want to F up the first note. <laughs> you want to leave them on a note that's good. And so I'm walking away from there and there were some funny people and everybody's nice, blah, blah, blah. Hey, way to go. No, no. And these two really cute girls walk past me mm-hmm. and the the one of them goes hey great job and i go really and she goes no not really oh. but, we, but we really love the show <laughs> oh i'm that okay is, with that, that is so oh. good. i, I was okay with that i mean at least hey, you're not like a the singer show. i'm not a singer you're, you, you're not a singer but hey we need to cook something okay just let me just say this one thing i noticed something when i watched master chef a week and a half ago. Yeah. I wasn't on it. Let me think. No, you weren't. <laughs> oh, did you get sent home? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, well, they're really pushing the Walmart thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they are. And I have to say, and I, you don't, I don't want you to say anything. I don't want you to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. But when they're cooking a steak and they come up to James, right? Yeah. Hey, James, what's going on? And James goes... You know, every time I cook these del- these uh, Walmart steaks, I'm just completely blown away by the quality of these things. <laughs> I know that that is not James coming up with that by himself because they've walked up and they go, "Hey, James, what are you doing?" And oh. instead of saying, "Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna saute these mushrooms uh, a little bit and then I'm gonna add some garlic I and a little know. of this," 
I understand the whole like. I I'd be, I I understand that world, but do they think that we don't get that? I think they and I Lynn, th please don't answer. I don't want to be in <laughs> okay. breach of I your contract. I think they say people like Sam the Cooking Guy realizing that's fake, or a billion dollars from Walmart to Fox. No, I get it. <laughs> I get it. And then maybe they don't care, and it's okay. But it it would be better for me if it was more obvious than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like if 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 uh, if like Joe Bastianich walked up and said, "Hey." Walmart gave us steaks for today. What do you think? And then if he said, every time I use a Walmart steak, I love it. Yeah. That would be the thing. But what I wrote down, here's, here's what uh, Graham Elliott said. Walmart sells the highest quality choice beef. So what does that say to you? What does that say to the uninformed? That... Walmart sells the highest yeah. quality beef available. Yeah. Which is not true. What's true is there's there's well there's four types of beef you can buy. Most places only sell three. Prime, choice and select. Mm -hmm. Choice is in the middle. So what he said was Walmart sells the highest quality choice beef. Oh. So I don't know if there's different grades of choice. I thought there was one grade, but let's say there's a different. I'm just saying the way yeah. that they phrase that. Whoever wrote that line is very, oh, very intelligent. That's what they do. They they utilize semantics. But that says to, to a lot themselves. of people, Walmart says the highest quality beef available. Mm -hmm. That's not true. It's semantics, and it's very misleading. I think. Mm -hmm. Lynn, don't you say a word. <laughs> I don't want, you being, I don't want you being sued for a million dollars. We can say anything we want. Okay, let's get an awesome okay, that's it. perch read, and then we're hopping in the kitchen. Hey, wait, would you say perch read what? Perch read. Oh, perch. Perch, perch, perch. What do we say about perch? What is perch, Max? Perch is just the best uh, kitchen and appliance store around, pretty much. Perch's Fixtures Living, changing their name to Perch. There it is, Perch. The new Fixtures Living. Hang on a sec. The new fixtures, Current the levels new of perch. joy will remain at full capacity. Isn't that funny? Yes, I love that. Their marketing is so good. Yeah. Their marketing is so good. Everything they do is so good. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they say they do. That is what they do. I haven't shown any pictures. We're redoing our bathroom upstairs. And I'm paying for all of the items. Thank you very much. <laughs> but they're coming from there because I couldn't go anywhere else because anywhere else would be, I wouldn't just be a trader. It would be making a mistake because Amen. I want to go to the place that knows what they're talking about, treats me well, offers me a handcrafted coffee when I walks in and actually gives a shit about me. Amen. Trust me. I've been to, I've been to appliance places before that, that give a shit about your money, but not about you. And that's a very different thing. Fixtures is not that kind of place. Fixtures living, dot com on the internet fixtures living on the facebook soon to be just facebook.com forward slash perch p i r c h you'll love them let's go cook something. don't you just want to walk oh, right in there i know and walk up to that the espresso machine and uh, have somebody make me something those red ones those red espresso machines are so cool oh, it's, I love their, it's their thing they have them at all their stores yep. all right let's go <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and do this fast. How fast? Oh, pretty fast. Max has got to get back up to Los Angeles. You've got a fiance you've got to get to and, you know, you oh, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, they live together now. No, we actually don't right now. Not oh, yet, not Max. Yet. I just mean get to because, you know, they got to hang out. Yeah. So wait, do I have a minute to a anchovy paste? Okay, so here, look, it. let me do this first. I said I'd make this little garlic aioli anchovy thing. So here's what I'm going to do. The Japanese mayonnaise, use any mayonnaise you want. Mayonnaise. And garlic. I've got a giant clove of garlic in my Xylus garlic press that will go. Oh, gosh. Right there. And all that will come out. Ooh, Oops. That's loud. My bad, my bad, my bad. And be all beautiful. And I want some uh, anchovy paste in here. Great way, I mean, way easier. 
they keep in the anchovy fillets in the uh, in the uh, can. That's true. So I know there's there's nothing good looking about this. It's honestly it's almost disgusting when squeezing anchovy paste out of a tube. <laughs> but garlic mayonnaise, ugh, look at that. Just gross out on that along with me, <laughs> Is that a please, worm? everybody. It's not a worm. <laughs> And the, the mayo looks extra yellow in that light, but we know that QP has a different color. We know QP is made with egg yolk and not egg white. Yeah. And here's the thing. You know, the thing about anchovy is used properly, it's not fishy. It just adds a whole other layer of flavor to, to everything. That's the key, man. And you know like what I was always influenced as a kid? watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and they hated anchovies and that was oh, the they thing did? That, yeah they hated anchovies on their pizza so I always hated anchovies with them no you love anchovies now oh yeah so I didn't put in enough one for a sec sorry yep I have a really bad itch oh, I clearly gosh. didn't put enough oh. in oh. okay okay you don't need to don't, please don't make sorry. the noises sorry. it's one thing to have an itch it's another <laughs> thing to like be <laughs> like vocal about it oh my gosh Okay, now, different finger, by the way. Now, that shit's good. It could actually have more garlic, but I think I'm going to be okay. All right, so let me think of what we've got to do. Oh, the tuna's here. Here's what I'm going to do with the tuna. Um, I'm not going to mayonnaise the tuna, because this has already got that going on. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some Dijon on it. Boom. Like a decent amount, right? Some olive oil, uh, where's my arbequina? Some salt, some pepper, right? So I've got my wee olive arbequina. You know, you don't always have to use uh, mayonnaise when you're making uh, stuff with tuna. You really don't. You definitely need moisture. And so this is gonna find moisture in the form of the Dijon mustard that I've just thrown into this and the olive oil. And this is going to make this nice, texturally perfect for me and the right kind of moisture for this whole sandwich. Oh my gosh. I'm like throwing tuna all over the counter. <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay. So. Pepper, a little bit more of this. Mhm. Mm you guys are so quiet. I can't believe it. Sorry, we're. You actually, always have stuff to say. I'm actually kind of me mesmerized. Time. You're mesmerized? Yeah. Okay. Well, just wait. This is a very interesting way to do a tuna. It does look great. Oh, get in there. That's for sure. Well, here's the deal. I mean, the tuna you kind of want to be sort of tuna-ish, you know? Not. Yeah. Not like, oh my god. Mm. Good olive oil, a little Dijon. That's the way to do that. Okay. We're almost there. You know, more uh, importantly, I'm kind of intrigued about how you even came up with this. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I like, don't know. It's, I mean, a, it's a pretty random sandwich to make. <laughs> I've heard of it before. I've never made one. I've never had one. But I like the idea of it. I like the idea of all these components. Oh God, one more thing. Sorry, 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 sorry. This. Oh, you can't forget the olives. Some tomato. Oh, I can't forget the olives. I gotta get some of these. I'm going as fast as I can. Let me just take some olives out right here. I'm trying to be really mindful of your boys time here with us today and what you have to do and okay, no we're okay so these, these guys are good all right ready i'll grab my tony luke knife let's start by the way you're at five minutes and 15 seconds i i i'm at that yeah jeez you're fine okay i'm, I'm, I'm getting there you're chilling okay you know i don't like the ends I'm not a fan of the heel. I don't like the expression, you're a heel. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the heel on a shoe.
Okay. Good, this is sourdough, sourdough baguette. I'm a big fan of this. So we wanna pick a little bit of this out. We'll just make a little trough for the tuna. Okay. There we go. Now we're happening. We need some lettuce in this little boy. What makes this sandwich a boy? <laughs> girl, boats are girls, right? Yeah. What are planes? Girls. What's a sandwich? I would imagine a girl then. Okay, this little girl then. I think you're probably the first person that's actually ever thought of that. Well, somebody has to think about this. Okay, first thing down is, Lynn, say it. The garlic uh, anchovy, anchovy aioli. aioli, that's what it is. Oh, way to put me on the spot, man. Well, there's only three ingredients, dude. <laughs> and you are a master chef, so. Did you ever think that that name was a bit, like, misleading? Yeah. No, I mean, if... I did. If someone asked me what is the premise of a master sh of the TV show MasterChef, I'd be like, yeah, it's like professional chefs competing, right? You know? It was always... I always thought it was funny that they would refer to... The, I mean, everything was Master Chef this, Master Chef that, and then they would say, "Oh, Kevin, the home cook, would blah blah blah." You know? I think the like point suddenly is, they were home cooks, and well, the point is to transform you from a home cook to like a Master Chef, but that gets kind of lost in the translation because you are a Master Chef as soon as you step into the kitchen. You know, so it's not quite by their by by their like, terminology, but not right. by. I do think the outside world would not refer to a master chef as a a home cook, right? Yeah, you know, I think the name just kind of stuck eventually, and they're like, we like this concept of being, you know, uh, people being a master chef, even though they're they're home cooks. It gives people something to strive for, you know. Ab well, that's true. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Okay, so we've got some lettuce here. Look, you need a little crunch, right, in this whole nonsense. Wow, this is gonna be stupid. I'm just telling you right now how nutty this is going to be. Okay, then this. This is going to be a damn fine salad niçoise sandwich. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> no one's saying anything, dude. Don't I know, that's awesome. okay. I'm, maybe I'm a little defensive. Don't get defensive. Apparently, I just did. I mean, it's okay. a great way to use canned tuna, that's for sure. Yeah, well, okay, I'm a huge canned tuna fan. Okay, I'm making a bit of a mess, but that's okay, right? So let's put this guy here, right? So here's what we've got. We've got this. Now I need to do something with these olives that I've let drain just a little bit on the rack over here. We bring them here and do, ah, there's no good way to do this. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, don't look at this, Max. Don't worry. I will frame it out. Olives. <laughs> I will frame it out. I, I will, I will not. Okay, I got one more, re I got two really important components coming. Tomatoes. Ready? <laughs> it's like you're a guy that works at Subway. That's kind of how they do it, right? Yeah. Build it piece by piece. Okay, so look what we've got. Dude, I know you had troubles the other day with the, with the picture for the, um, what was that? The um, the other day when we had troubles? You had troubles with the uh, the um, picture for the- Flatbread. The flatbread. Yeah. It yeah. just wasn't, it, it was a difficult thing to do. Sometimes just pictures don't work out. I mean, that's just the way it goes. I'm with you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This Almost one will be there. just fine though, let me tell you. Almost there. Oh yeah, I can tell. I, could, I see a cross section of this picture coming oh out really God, beautifully. Oh God, there's something flying around your head. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you get it? Oh my God. Oh gross, dude, really? Oh, whoa. Really, dude? Come on, oh my, it. oh you feel bad for it? The thing was right up in my grill, what am I supposed to do? That was some teamwork right there. Dude, uh, thank you, and how about for my skills? Amazing. We killed. I, mean, I might have looked like a duck flapping my wings in there, but yeah. 
We'll put that in slow right, motion. Back to the cooking, yeah? Oh my god. Now I got this like extra wash here, sorry. <laughs> Pardon for the delay. This is just this should make the greatest moments of the life cast. That was amazing. Okay. Some tomato. And we're really into these like heirloom tomatoes right now. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? It's gonna look amazing. You can't do this with a regular tomato, it just won't look the same. No, or you, you taste actually the same can't. either. Right. I'm with you. Okay, tomato. Dig it. Boom. 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 Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this stupid thing. So a Niswa does traditionally it has to have a tomato or tomatoes. It has to have olives. It has to have you know what, there's, look, there's a lot of different versions of what goes on and what you can and cannot have and don't have to have. And I took a, oh, here we go, ready for this? Sorry, when Max is ready, here's our, yeah, here's okay, our next okay. ingredient. Get on this, Lynn. These are either eggs or... Oh, that. Hard boiled eggs. They are eggs. We're going hard boiled eggs on this now. Yeah, that's definitely a main component of Niswa right there. So egg is another one of those. Egg is like a very important piece of this whole thing. <laughs> wow, your phone is just I know. Are you, are you kidding me tonight with this? Remember I have friends in town. That's true. That does look really like, good. Where the man. hell are you? And I'm like, it's Monday. This is probably the most complicated sandwich. No, you go, it's built. Friday. <laughs> this is the most complicated what? Sandwich you've ever built. Yes. So that's the end of it, right? There'd be two things, Lynn, that anybody would know I'd put on now? Salt and pepper. That's Salt. It. Oh, it's a great looking sandwich, man. This should be It really on, is, and it's really that long. This should be on stupid flip book, which I love. I almost don't want to seal this up, you know? I know, I know. It looks so good like that. I feel like I'm going to screw it up for Lynn to come take a picture. <laughs> no, do you cut it in half? It. I'll take the picture of the other Leave half. Leave it off. Uh-oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh. Nobody did that on purpose, Max. Max just made a whole noise about this. We're getting there. It's all going to be perfect. It's gonna be nice. Everybody will be fine. If one of the live casters makes this, please send a picture. <laughs> oh gosh! Now I'm pissed off. Yeah, now you're just killing me. Now I'm just like I was perfect and everything we were was ready. great. <laughs> no, it's all good. We we don't don't put it back on. What are you doing? <laughs> it's good. It's fine. But my Tony Luke knife is gonna save my ass on this whole thing. All I need is one section. Use my whole arm. <laughs> Why do I have to go giant like this? <laughs> I know. It's hilarious. But isn't Niswa like a giant sandwich? No. The giant. There's nothing giant about it. The only thing giant is what I did here today. Okay. Oh, stop it. You just grow up and stay there. Okay, here we go. That's it. We've got the egg. We've got the tomato. I think. Yes, there's tomato in there. Egg, tomato, the olives, the tuna, the garlic, anchovy aioli, the lettuce, and then a bite. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's a big bite. <laughs> okay. It may be a horror show, but it is fucking amazing. Make it smaller, but just make it. Make it smaller. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out through this. Thank you for being here this in random week. Thanks for telling your friends about us. Oh, the garlic anchovy aioli thing is incredible in here. You got to make this. 
All right, we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends, make this if you can. Make a small version of it. Don't do this. This is insanity. It's Linsanity. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. More fun, more great food right here in the livecast. Thanks. See ya. Peace.